Hello and welcome back to Curry Soup. Today we're going to be covering five interesting facts in medical history. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. Fact number one, some of the earliest named doctors were women. You know how in the movies and all we see when people say doctor, immediately our mind says that it's a man. And even going back 100 years ago, only men were allowed to practice medicine, to learn medicine. For a woman to come up in medicine is so, so difficult. But this wasn't the case in ancient Egypt. Sagara is a necropolis for the ancient city of Egypt named Memphis. It is the home to one of the oldest surviving buildings in the world, the Step Pyramids of Jose, if I'm pronouncing it right. And there's a tomb nearby this pyramid for the first ever female doctor known by name. And her name was Mary Tah. I think the P is silent there. This was around 2700 BC and the hieroglyphics there describes her as the chief physician. So this shows women were able to hold high medical positions in ancient Egypt. 200 years later, another doctor, Preshet, a woman doctor, was immortalized on a monument in the tomb of her son, Akhet Hetep, who was the high priest. And Preshet had the title of overseer of female physicians, suggesting that it was not like one or two women became doctors. It was like a whole bunch of them. It was equal for both men and women. Fact number two, cataract surgery was possible in the 6th century BC. For this, we have to travel to India. One of the oldest surviving medical documents is from India. It's called Sushruta Samhita. Sushruta is the guy's name and Samhita is a collection of knowledge. It was written around 600 BC and it's all written in Sanskrit. And inside this book, there's a detailed description of medicine, surgery, pharmacology and also patient management. And one of the procedures described in this book is the cataract surgery. So how this surgery happens is very unique. The patients have to look at the tip of their nose while the doctor holds open their eye with their thumb and index finger and they use something which looks like a needle to poke through the eye from the side and once this is done they sprinkle breast milk on the eye and bathe the outside of the eye with herbal medicines and then they literally scrape the cloudiness out of the eye until it's clear if the surgery was successful the patient usually had proper vision although it might be a bit blurred and during recovery the patients were advised to avoid sneezing coughing burping or anything which might increase the pressure in the eye. Fact number three, the first cure for scurvy or the first management of scurvy was actually created by aborigines who were kidnapped. So there is this famous French voyager named Cartier and during his first voyage to Stada Kona or now it's known as Quebec City in 1534, he actually kidnapped two of the people there to bring back to France. This was how they showed that they actually found new land. And then two years later, he went back to that place while carrying these two people he just kidnapped. But on the way there, because it was winter, their ship actually got stuck in the ice. And because there was lack of food, there was nowhere to go, they were stuck in the ice, the sailors started to succumb to some weird illness. Their mouth started stinking, the flesh in their gums started rotting and falling off to the point where even their teeth were dropping off. Now, after learning modern medicine, we know that it's called scurvy, but back then they didn't know what it was. But these two guys who they kidnapped actually knows what it is and how how to actually treat them. But given their history, they had no reason to actually help these sailors. But then still, one of these guys who got kidnapped, his name was Dom Ageya, I think. Despite all the cruelty, despite being kidnapped and dragged away from his house, actually taught them how to make this decoction out of this tree called Aneda. Initially, these Frenchmen thought they were trying to poison the sailors, but then two of them took it and within a week, they got cured like there was nothing wrong with them already. And when this happened, all of a sudden, the value for that decoction rose and they started mass producing this this medicine for themselves for the for the ship to the point where they used up an entire huge tree we don't really know what this tree is called in modern terms because there's no documentation of it but then this cure was only popular among this particular group and the french people like a very limited group know about it so it didn't pick off that's the reason for the next 200 years after this incident happened sailors still kept dying out of scurvy and you know what the worst part is even after these two guys actually taught them how to make the cure and everything this Cartier actually kidnapped another nine people including Dom Agai 
Kaya and brought back to France. And the next time when he went over there again, when people asked what happened to them, he actually told them that they are living a very luxurious life in France. But the fact of the matter is most of them died already. Fact number four is general anesthesia was created in early 19th century. So there's this lady called Kan Aya, a Japanese lady who had a very strong family history of breast cancers. Like her mother died of breast cancer, all her sisters died of breast cancer and she actually saw them suffering and dying because of breast cancer. And when she started feeling a lump in her left breast, she knew what was going to happen already. But then she had a choice because it was feudal Japan at the time in 1804. So it was like the best place to have a surgery for Japanese people. And at the same time, there was this upcoming doctor called Seishu Hanaoka. He studied in Kyoto but then set shop, set his clinic in his own hometown. And he was very interested in anesthesiology because he heard that in the 3rd century, Chinese surgeons managed to put patients to sleep despite the pain. So he started creating his own concoction, like experimenting with this and that, and eventually came up with something called Su Sen San. It's a very potent hot drink and if you just drink it like that, the chances are you will die. But with proper dosing, you can actually knock out a patient for 6 to 24 hours. And on 13th of October 1804, Kon Aya actually had the first ever surgery, tumor excision under general anesthesia. And after her surgery, he went on to operate on at least another 150 more breast cancer cases. So if you thought general anesthesia was something new, no. It existed all the way since the early 19th century. And fact number five, C-section which was independently developed by a tribe in Africa. You know how in movies when we see white fellas doing movies and all of a sudden they see Africans, they start calling them savages? Well, this is a massive sleeper shot to anyone who actually called them savages. There's this place called Kingdom of Bunyoro Kitara in Africa and the people there actually had their own version of C-section like actual operation which they developed by themselves. And the surgery usually focused on saving both lives. They even used like anesthesia. The mother was partially anesthetized by something called a banana wine and the doctor will use the same wine to actually wash the surgical site and his hand showing that they actually had the knowledge of germs and bacteria and how important it is to prevent infection. After they already sanitized the area, the doctor will actually incise vertically, not like our modern caesarean section where they follow the abdominal line so it's cosmetically nicer looking. Here, they will do a vertical incision down the abdomen which opens up the abdominal wall and partially opens up the uterine wall and after that, they'll further divide the uterine wall to bring the baby out. And the surgery did not actually stop there. They were so modern that they even performed placental delivery meaning the placenta was also delivered out and they even had the knowledge to squeeze the uterus to promote contraction of the uterus so the patient doesn't bleed out. Once the surgery was done, the body was stitched back using seven iron spikes used to bring the skin close together and on top they'll put a thick layer of herbal medication covered in warm banana leaf held in place by a bandage. So yeah, just because someone has dark skin and they live in wooden houses doesn't mean they have no medical knowledge. These people were far superior to modern medicine. At the same time, women were dying in Europe because they didn't know how to perform C-section properly. So that's five unique facts about medical history. If you found this video to be valuable, if you learned anything at all from this video, the only thing I ask you is to share this video with your friends and family members. Spread the knowledge. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right there and please do click the bell icon because YouTube's algorithm is changing all the time and we want to make sure our videos come and reach you. And until the next informative video in anything you do, do your best and be the best version of yourself. Bye-bye.